So the game that I'm about to show you guys is between Magnus Carlsen and Eric Rosen. And this was played two years back. Uh, it was Feb 19, a title arena was being played on Lee Chess. And these two came across each other during the tournament. And this was the first time they had this encounter. So Eric was having the white pieces here. Uh, Magnus had the black pieces. And the game was interesting and instructive as well. So I thought I'll take you through this. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please do subscribe to the channel as well. So let's go. Uh, it starts off with e4, a standard opening that Eric generally plays with white. But Magnus responds with b6, trying to throw him off his regular preparation. Uh, knight to c3 uh, by Eric. Uh, and here, Carlson plays bishop to b7. The idea is simple to put your bishop on a light square, eyeing the kingside diagonal eventually. Uh, so that helps after castling, of course. Here, knight comes to f3 by uh, Eric. And now e6 by Carlson trying to develop the dark square bishop as well, maybe on to c5 or on to b4. Uh, here, Eric played off e5 because he got the central space advantage. So he pushed the pawn further. And now the idea is to put d4 so that there are connected pawns in the center. And uh, Eric is happy with the space so far. Uh, here, Carlson responds with d6, immediately uh, striking for the center. Don't want to, uh, don't want Eric to take control of the entire center. So asking a pawn trade if that happens. So that does happen. Eric takes the pawn, uh, and now Carlson develops a piece with tempo. Now bishop is developed, and if you look at these beautiful bishops, these are amazing. Eyeing the king side already. So if a king side castle is coming, this is going to be disastrous for Eric. Uh, Eric plays bishop to. Uh, C, uh, b5 here, uh, just a check and developing the bishop. So here comes a uh, knight to d7. Carlson doesn't want to uh, blockade the diagonal of this bishop. So that's why knight to d7, uh, not on to c6. Now queen comes out on to e2. Now uh, Eric's idea is maybe to cast on the queen side because, as I said, this is looking bad already. Uh, so here now Carlson plays a6, trying to kick the bishop backwards. Bishop goes back to a4, and now comes a knight to f6, developing another piece, preparing to castle maybe. Bishop goes back on to b3, and this can be a sacrifice in some games, but you don't want to sack against Carlson for sure. Uh, but here, Magnus plays knight to c5. His idea is to attack the bishop and take it out of the game because it will be angry diagonal. Uh, so no taking no chances with any kind of sacks. So here comes uh, d3 uh, by Eric trying to develop the bishop next, but Carlson takes the light square bishop first. So eliminating the bishop pair. Now uh, Carlson has the bishop pair, which is very active as well. Uh, so pawn takes the knight, uh, opens up the h file, a file, sorry. Now queen comes to d7. Uh, the idea is to guard the pawn as well, and maybe now I'm preparing to cast on the king side because then even the queen can get into the action maybe from here or on to c6. Uh, Eric plays uh, bishop to g5, trying to maybe spoil the pawn structure on the king side. Uh, because if Eric does take uh, and Carlson has to take back, then the pawn structure gets opened up from here. Uh, but anyways, Carlson castles. His idea is simple. If now you take, I get to open have a, have a very wonderful g file as well, which does happen. Uh, they trade off the pieces, knight and bishop. And now knight to e4 by Eric, trying to attack the bishop, maybe take out one of the bishops uh, from the game. So Carlson saves the bishop, saves the pawn as well, which was hanging, by just placing the bishop back onto e7. Now knight goes back. And now Carlson improves the position of the rook, as expected, because it's an open, semi-open file. Why not attack the pawn, which is not defended? Uh, so now pawn is played forward to g3, because again, castling is bad already, because... This bishop is nice. This queen can also hop in. Uh, the other bishop can also come in. So it, it's bad if you castle. So here now, f th f5 by uh, Carlson trying to push the pawn forward and make this uh, little pawn triangle. You can say whatever. It's, it's a solid structure always. Now, h4 by Eric trying to um, push the pawns on the king side. But now comes a bishop to f6. See how slowly Carlson has maneuvered the bishop all together uh, trying to add the other diagonal now because he uh, he expects Eric to maybe cast on the, on the queen side now. So just trying to make sure that he attacks a pawn, uh, which can be dangerous later on if uh, Eric decides to castle. 
Eric, anyways, uh, which ways does does so, but then uh, Carlson starts pushing the a5 pawn, and now knight goes back, which was weird. You are underlapping a piece, also uh, not uh, ensuring that your rooks are not connected. You are giving away the rook as well, uh, which is bad, and that's what happens. Now knight comes back. Uh, Carlson takes the knight as well. So now Eric is pieced down with this maneuvering, uh, and now queen trade is offered by Carlson. Of course, Eric will not take here because it's bad uh, when you are pieced down. So Eric moves the queen on to e3. But now, again, Carlson offers queen trade and he's threatening checkmate as well. Uh, but here is a, it's a nice move uh, by Eric trying to put the knight on to c4, which defends uh, b2. As we know, Eric is famous for his stalemate's trap as well. So he wants to maybe take uh, Carlson into the end game. But now uh, Carlson plays b5, trying to kick the defender of this checkmate attack uh, on to b2. So queen here moves. Uh, so knight is lost. But knight, queen now gives a check from a8. King goes up. And then queen goes on to a6. Doesn't do much here. Uh, it's a check coming. But then, of course, Eric uh, can now move the king away. Uh, here Carlson takes on a pawn. King moves up. And now, simply moving the king out of the way, trying to use, uh, make sure that uh, Carlson can use the open d file also. Here, uh, Eric takes a pawn, uh, and now queen uh, comes to d4. There's only one space where king can go, and that's a final checkmate eventually uh, on e4. So, it was a nice game. Eric gave a good thought, and had a few good moves, but Carlson's domination is something else. That's what happens in the entire game. If you see, Eric had slight chances. Initial on, that's due to Eric had got the white pieces. Otherwise, it was complete domination by Carlson. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, and I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow is my birthday as well. So yeah, I'll see you, see you tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.